Capricorn, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. If you've been with me before, welcome back. And for those of you that are brand new, welcome to my channel. This is the what the heck is going on because we definitely all need to know what the heck is going on. What I've done, and if you've been with me before, you already know this, but for those of you that are brand new, I have the sage burning for every single reading. It is still smoldering. I clear every single tarot deck just specifically for your astrological sign, okay? I'm absolutely fanatical about doing that. I have the healing stones surrounding your reading. And this is a what the heck is going on between you and a love interest you have. So if you're happily married, happily coupled, this is definitely not the reading for you. Okay, this is from the 27th to the 30th, but I want to say energies can happen anytime. I've had things happen six months later, weeks later. I've had it happen three days later and up to a year later. So keep that in mind. It is a general reading. If you want a reading more catered to your energy, then go to shacy.com, S-H-A-S-I-E.com. I keep everything confidential. You never need to worry about that. And it's been absolutely fascinating talking to all of you uh, that have had the, you know, the requested private readings on a one-to-one -one basis has been amazing. And... Um, keep it coming. I really enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, and share it. it. helps the channel to grow, and my girls and I love watching it grow, and I love helping people, so this is my passion and my pleasure. So the small traditional rider weight deck here, I've meditated on your energy, how you're feeling, what's going on, uh, what can you expect in love. On the larger traditional rider weight, I have meditated on your love interest energy, but I do want to say that it can crisscross over. I've asked what is going on with them right now, what action will they take, um, is there any progress, how are they feeling about you, and I'm also going to pull one of my Shacy Prism Universal Tarot cards. There's 72 in the deck. I designed these myself with transformation in mind and the changes that we go through, although uncomfortable, is very necessary in order for us to grow as people. There are 72. They're very, very easy to read. They're available for pre-order down below. If you're interested, I'm going to pull, and I've already meditated on these cards. I'm going to pull a couple of them before I go off to the continued version on Vimeo, and then we're going to do pick a card. Okay, I'm going to do three cards at the end of the reading here, and you're going to pick a card. You choose one, two, or three, okay? And I will let you know as we go on, but on these cards for the Shacy Prism, I meditated on what are your mutual energies and what is the progress, what is possible outcome. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Now I can't control the cards. Sometimes finance is going to come up here and you know, honestly, finances affect all of us, whether it's in a relationship, a family, it all affects our lives. Don't you wish that you could just go pick a money tree? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Although there'd be a lot of fights over those money trees and a lot of roots dug up, right? <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you're all having a great upcoming weekend so far. Whether you're watching this, you know, before the weekend or during the weekend, I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Okay, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on for Capricorn, please, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, June 27th to 30th. Wow, yeah, they're dropping. Wow, Capricorn, there you are. The Devil card. This is Capricorn's energy. So this is a major arcana, okay? This signifies that some major, you know, events are occurring in your life quite possibly, or this could simply just represent you in the reading. Mmm, Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but it does not have to be. If I find there is one more astrological sign than another, I will definitely let you know that I'm feeling it quite strongly. I'm a Scorpio. I let you know when I'm feeling something quite strongly, unless there's a reason why I can't. This is a Knight of Cups, so you may have a romantic proposal coming in towards you. Um, you may be um, either giving an offer or going to get an offer, either of love or a gift. This is usually bringing the relationship to the next level. It doesn't have to be a water sign. They could have strong water in their chart. You could even be dealing with another Capricorn. Or this could be you wanting to give a love offer or getting in a love offer. And it can be from a water sign, another Capricorn. Ooh. Now, I usually don't take them out when they drop like that because if they're in a clump, but um, that was a strong drop, so I'm going to take it. Mm. You have the King of Wands. This could be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Okay, now all of us can take on water energy. Some of us are emotional sometimes. Some of us can take on earth energy, air energy. You know, air energy is all about thinking a lot, your thoughts. This is fire energy. This is someone who is uh, very creative, very passionate, very driven. Um, 
they make fantastic leaders. So the King of Wands, and it doesn't matter if it's female or male, it's about the energy of the King of Wands. So this could be you, or it could be someone you're close to, is very fiery, very passionate, is a leader type of person coming in towards you with a love offer or bringing a relationship to the next level, whatever the case may be. We're gonna have to dig a lot deeper, okay? Four of Cups. So you may have a love offer coming in towards you and you're not ready to accept it yet, or this could be vice versa. Remember, these energies can cross over. They can cross over or go vice versa, but this is this guy's double negative. He's crossing his arms and his legs saying, no, I'm not, I'm not accepting that. I'm looking at these empty cups here. Somebody's focused on something in the past that um, was just very unhappy. They're sad about it. They have some regret, some remorse. That could be you, it could be them, okay? Or you're getting in this offer, but it's not an offer you want. That could be as well. We're gonna dig deeper. Now in the extended, I will be digging a lot deeper. I will be pulling, hmm, let me see. I'll pull more Shacey Prism Universal Tarot, but I'm also gonna pull the, uh, these are the Crystal Tarot deck, they're awesome. So I'll pull a couple of those and I may or may not pull some Ciro Marchetti. These are fantastic too. I think I probably will, but we'll check it out. Depends how far we get here. However I feel I need to dig, I'm gonna dig a lot deeper. So sometimes the extendeds will go for like 15 minutes, sometimes they'll go for 30 minutes. Like I've had them go for 35 minutes, but it's if I'm not satisfied with the reading, I'll keep going. So keep that in mind. It, it goes according to how I feel um, your energy is. So let's go ahead. Your next card, wow, Capricorn. Page of Cups, this is a messenger. This is, they say usually a younger person, but it, I don't feel that, it doesn't have to be. Some, all of us can sort of like feel young and fancy free at times and, and other times we're more mature and more responsible, but other times we just wanna let our hair down and have fun. So to me, this this really doesn't, doesn't matter. This is a messenger, Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You may be receiving a message, a gift, or a love offer, an apology, that could be. Okay, and again, this could go vice versa, but these wanted to drop out. Okay, Seven of Cups, this is about choices, decisions. All these cups are full of different things. Now they say cups are emotions, but to me when I see this card, this card is full of cups of things, not emotions. There's not, you know, um, to me these are decisions and choices to make. This could mean that you have lots of options and you're not ready to accept any of them right now or this may be your person this may be your love interest okay maybe you're hoping and wishing that they come towards you with a love offer and apology but they're they're not ready yet and they have a lot of options and choices and decisions to make but we're going to keep digging deeper i need to clarify these just dropped out on their own and i allowed them to come out so let's go ahead and check on your love interest now Capricorn's love interest, please. What does Capricorn need to know? What the heck is going on? Well, another big clump comes out. I don't like it when they do that, but sometimes, wow. Sun is shining. Look at that. This is about abundance. This is what we all want. This is the most desired card in the whole deck. This is Major Arcana of the Sun, which represents growth. Do you see the growth there? Happiness could involve children. Look how far that sun is like shining across the whole card. This is about absolute growth and happiness, full abundance and all things that we all want. You know, like the, the house, the car, the children, the happiness, the calmness, the peace, the love, you know, a great job. Just everything's thriving. Everything's going very, very well. And so this is your love interest. They may think of you as their son, or you could be involved with the Leo. We did have fire energy on the opposite side. So somebody could have fire and water in their chart. That could be maybe dealing with a fire water sign or a water fire sign. Okay. Wow. Four of Wands. This is about freedom, possibly. Sometimes it could mean taking a holiday. Could be celebration. Uh, this can also mean they sometimes call this a marriage card or the twin flame card. You may have found your person or they found you. And they're going to propose to you or give you a gift or or perhaps um, come towards you with just an apology and an offer to take the relationship to the next level. But maybe you have a lot of options. 
okay? And you're not ready to accept any of them because you're focusing on a previous love that you had that you're not over, that could be. We'll clarify those too. Okay, so just give me a moment. We will keep going. You got one more card. Wow. Well, your love interest feels that you are their twin flame or soulmate or vice versa. Okay, this is the two of cups. This is amazing. Look at this. Sun is the first card out in your love interest side. Holiday, celebration, um, twin flame, soulmate, possible marriage card, and then the two of cups. So this is about growth in a relationship, an abundance coming, a relationship growing, a very deep soulmate, twin flame kind of connection that's guided by the angel. See the angel wings there? It's like the wings are over this couple and watching over them. And this growth is happening. So your relationship may be growing. Okay, that's possible. Um, let's keep going here. This is very, very, the plot thickens. Hmm. Okay, Capricorn, we are going to clarify the devil card. Clarify the devil card here, please, for Capricorn. Wow, that was a little fast. Wow, mirroring each other. Here comes the sun again. Again. So you have, I feel, growth coming in a relationship. Or you could be dealing with a Leo and they want to come towards you with a love offer, proposal, commitment, or take a relationship to the next level. But yeah, we need to confirm what's going on because there's still this, there's still this indecisiveness, not readiness going on here. Options, choices, decisions to make, not like what's being offered. That could be you, it could be them. So we need to see what's going on. We will clarify a lot more in the extended, but let's go ahead. I want to clarify the four of cups for you. Clarify the four of cups here, please, for Capricorn. Why is the four of cups here? Let me know what's going on in your life. I have been reading all of your comments. They're awesome. Thank you for leaving those. Leave me some comments down below. Don't be shy. Hit the thumbs up when you get a moment. That'd be so appreciated. There is a notification bell, which I keep forgetting to mention. If you want to hit that, um, you will be notified of further readings. Okay. Let's read that for a sec. Clarify that Four of Cups here, please, for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is that Four of Cups here, please, spirits? What's that about? Why is the Four of Cups here for Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. A bit stuck. They're a bit stuck. Oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. Wow. Okay, so something may have ended for you previously. This is a tower, Major Arcana. Okay, so something significant suddenly or if it hasn't yet um, caused a major disruption in your life. Some, this is something quite large. And so I feel, I'm feeling like something may have ended for you, previous relationship, and you're focusing on that right now. So you're not ready to accept anything new. And if this isn't you, this is your love interest, um, take it how it resonates. Remember, this is a general reading, but this is like, boom, like unexpected change unexpected change you weren't expecting it or they weren't expecting it this could be them with someone else or this could be this with this with you maybe you and them have ended um a commitment that could be but i don't know it, it, we're gonna dig we're gonna have to dig i'm gonna have to clarify the tower now this is a heavy reading already wow okay let's clarify the knight of cups please for capricorn why is the knight of cups here whoa okay that came flying out Ace of Swords, there's clarity coming. Something suddenly happened that you weren't expecting or your love interest wasn't expecting and clarity is coming. Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning. It's um, having clarity. Uh, it's having a brand new beginning in something. It could be a new relationship and clarity is coming. It can be having a new idea after something suddenly came crashing down. You suddenly came up with a new idea uh, that you've had and it can be about anything, business, um, or you may be gaining clarity in a situation after your relationship ended or vice versa. They are with someone else. We're going to have to dig. This is really heavy. Wow. Okay. Interesting. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a marriage. This is, yeah, you may be glint. Wow. This is, 
We're gonna have to really dig here, Capricorn. This is heavy. Something may have unexpectedly happened and you're gaining clarity. It could involve a marriage or a Taurus. The Hero Font is someone who's very spiritual. Could just represent a Taurus in your life. Could represent marriage in your life. I'm feeling like perhaps a marriage has quite possibly ended and somebody's gaining clarity. It could be you, it could be them. Interesting. Wow, okay, we've gotta keep going. This is going to take some clearing up here. And then here you are, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is about stability. Okay. Or this could be you, or you could be involved again with a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. They just all dropped all at once. Gaining clarity after a commitment ended or is ending. And you have a new love offer coming in. That could be. All right, we're going to pull a couple more for your love interest, and we need to go over to that extended. I'm trying to get uh, Virgo done today as well as a couple of others, and I hate rushing because I need to feel the reading. Clar clarify this. <laughs> clarify the sun, please, for Capricorn's love interest. Capricorn, this is you on both sides both sides of the reading you are mirroring each other here look at this so either something was unhealthy between you and a love interest and it ended it was a marriage or a commitment okay or you're mirroring each other they're thinking about you you're thinking about them interesting but then here's the lovers. This is a love choice or decision. You and your love interest might be trying to make a love choice or decision. But this is a lover's card. Could be a Gemini. This, I'm feeling though, is a love decision and a deep soul loving relationship twin flame. Because we've got the two of cups, right? <laughs> we have the four of wands, which is marriage, twin flame, soulmate. Freedom, celebration, happiness coming together, commitment. You see this couple here? It's like they're celebrating their freedom, their happiness together, going through marriage. It's almost like they just got married and they're standing and they're committing to one another and they are here too. It's like the universe is bringing these two people together. Angel wings again. This is the divine bringing a soulmate twin flame connection together. I'm feeling that very strongly here because the first card out on your love interest side is the sun. This is abundance in all things. This trumps all the other tarot cards of the deck. This is the card of the deck. This is what we all want. So I feel the universe is strongly bringing together soulmate twin, twin flame connection that's going to be very abundant, very happy, very fulfilling. And then you've got, maybe this is obsessed. Maybe this is obsession. Maybe you or someone else are kind of almost obsessed with one another or there was something that it's just simply Capricorn it's you they're thinking about you and you're thinking about them but you're focusing on a loss here or they are not ready to accept your offer or vice versa you're going to have to let me know what's going on Capricorn we're going to have to go to the extended but I'm going to pull a couple of chases and do the pick a card for Capricorn the love interest please what is going on between the two what are the mutual energies Thank you. Stuck, feeling trapped. Someone's feeling trapped. Someone's feeling trapped in a relationship or a commitment. Maybe that's why the tower's here. Maybe someone wants to commit to someone else. <sighs> Bring relationship to the next level and they can't accept it right now because they're focusing on a loss. Something, something is ending or something is unexpected something unexpected happens and there's a lot of choices and decisions and options and considerations to make and, and someone is feeling stuck so whether that's you or your love interest someone is feeling very very stuck okay let's do the pick a card we're going to go over to the extended i'll pull some more shacy prism universal tarot um yeah capricorn okay pick a card time let me know what's going on with you this is a heavy reading all of them have been heavy. Okay, one, two, one more card, please, spirits. Now, I already meditated on these cards beforehand. 
Wow, what a day. This is heavy. I'm like, <laughs> for Capricorn, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. One more card, please, spirits, for Capricorn. Thank you. Wow, that was super fast. All right. Okay, I'm going to point the camera down. Or can you see them? Here we go. You can see those. One, two, or three. Pick a card. I'll give you a second. I'm going to look at your cards here, too, for one more minute. Do you pick a card? Pick a card. One, two, or three. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Ready? Hathor, receptivity. Allow yourself. <laughs> wow, you know what? I need my glasses. This print is really, really, really small. I like my glasses. <laughs> wow, that's better. Woo! And there, there be light. <laughs> Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So if you picked card number one, receptivity be receptive okay allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition energy and ability to give to others okay that's the advice from the universe to you if you picked card number two ooh, i like this one probably because i love the band fleetwood mac this is rhiannon the sorceress okay you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality so you know, spirit is saying manifest. You are a sorcerer or a sorceress and you can manifest whatever it is you want. You are your own magician. You can make things happen. Okay. Sometimes, you know, if you focus on this, then that's what's going to keep you there. If you keep focusing on what was, not what could be, the universe is trying to hand somebody here a whole lot of love. I'm, I'm talking a deep twin flame soulmate love and somebody is just double negative focusing on a loss and is not seeing this brand new opportunities brand new opportunities there may be choices and decisions to make but there's some brand new opportunities here okay card number three see i got waylaid i start getting into it and i can't stop <laughs> compassion if you picked card number three, compassion, release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So don't focus on where there's no love. Focus on where there is love. Focus on what is good and what is coming to you. And that's what I have for you, Capricorn. So I hope that resonated for you. And hit, again, the thumbs up. That would be awesome. If this resonated for you, I will see you over at the Extended on Vimeo. I will post it down below in the description box as well as it will be in the comments section. If you'd like a private reading, all of the information is below in the description box. Same with the Shacy Prism. Okay? And I would love to hear from you. And I will try and respond over this weekend to any messages you leave. Thank you so much for being here. And for those of you this resonated with, I'll see you at Vimeo. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.